Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Blow. Today we're going to be blasting the mighty God Flesh Slave State. I haven't listened to this in a minute and I was in the mood, so time for some good Justin Broderick and GC Green. Fuck yeah. I love this album. I love Godflesh. Fucking one of the best, heaviest bands ever. So fucking good. And speaking of heavy fucking, first off, thank you and hails to Eternal Rot for hooking up a gnarly fucking package. That happened to include a great introduction to Eternal Rot in case this is a new band for you. This is Grave Grooves, a two track, around nine minutes of murky death doom metal. From both the UK and Poland, this release right here is seriously such a great example as I'm going to be going over their new release tomorrow. So I figured let's bang out this two track seven inch because it's fucking awesome. Seriously, it's such a great introduction and like the fact that I'm going to be going over their new material tomorrow, let's just go over the old shit first and get you stoked on Eternal Rot in case you've never heard of these fucking maniacs. And this is a duo and it's fucking amazing. I love this. And when you have one member in the UK and one from Poland, I mean, that alone is fucking sick. To create something this, like, heavy and murky and just, oh, it's so disgustingly sick and rotting death metal. I fucking love this stuff. If you're a fan of, like, Mortuary and Darkness by Coffins, and like Anatomia, Grave Miasma, Hooded Menace, you're gonna fucking devour Eternal Rot, Grave Grooves, as that's exactly what this is. A fun, doomy slab of death metal. If you like early coffins, Anatomia, and Coffination, Father Be Fouled, I can keep going on and on. But if you like those bands, oh yeah, you are going to love this. But I mostly love the vocals on here. Like, alongside the absolutely crushing, just doomy riffs that just sound like they're coming from beyond the graves with the production on here. Very, very awesome production. Old school as fuck. I just... I, I love a good 7-inch, and this is a great example of a good 7-inch. I have the poster on my wall, otherwise I'd show you, but it's just the cover art, so that's what the poster is. It's pretty badass. This is a 2014 release, and I think some of these songs were on their 2013 demo. I, I need to check, actually. But um, Fallen Temple released the 7-inch. I'm not sure if there's copies left either, so hopefully you guys can get your hands on this. I did see that the CD version of their new release is sold out, but uh, I know a mini cassette, well, it, you know, cassettes coming as well as uh, vinyl, I think, so yeah, keep that in mind tomorrow when I go over the new release, but yeah, Crawler... And uh, Sickening Deeds are just two fucking awesome death metal tracks that are just absolutely sickening and representing both the band's murky and doomed out death metal. But really set up the blueprint for what was to come in the future here. And I really, really like their new material, but... Around, you know, nine minutes here of just totally, totally sickening, moldy, murky, moody, rotting, death doom, 
from this international duo of death dealers currently decimating the underground with their form of just graveyard crushing death metal. And Grave Grooves is a great, great introduction to Eternal Rot as if you like these two tracks, you are going to love the new material. Trust me. And the new material's on Gods of War Productions. I'll be going over it tomorrow. But for right now, get into some Grave Grooves and, you know, try not to get, you know, fucking eaten by some of these walkers. And when you hear some of the future material, you're going to be like, holy shit, this band is awesome. And Grave Grooves is just the perfect starting point. And it's fucking sick. Plain Black 7-inch. Awesome, awesome art as well on the uh, stickers. You have Crawler and Sickening Deeds. Just awesome stuff. I love a good 7-inch. And this is one right here. And Eternal Rot is Mayor on all music. And Grindiac on lyrics. Fucking A. I don't know if that means vocals as well, but... Yeah, the vocals on here are fucking amazing. So, that's all that really matters, but... In the meantime, check out Eternal Rot, Grave Grooves, or check out their new material as well, but I would start right here. I'm not sure if their 2013 demo is this with some extras or something, but this 7-inch is badass. It sounds great, and this review is almost as long as the 7-inch, so I'm going to shut the fuck up. And pretty much, yeah, if you're a fan of early coffins, Anatomia, Father Befoud, you know what I'm getting at. Just, you're gonna love this. But I really, really just love the whole entire just trueness of the just murky death doom that this has within these fucking legit grave grooves. As to me... This is what death metal should sound like. And that is fucking rotten to the core. Filled with gore. Just moody, murky, filthy fucking stuff. And Eternal Rot, check every mark off on what I feel like makes up a kick-ass death metal release. And the snare drum sounds a lot like cyanide, and that's a good thing. But we were blasting Godflesh Slave State. I love this album. It's very different and just something I enjoy listening to. 1991 Earache Records, Relativity Records as well. Just great stuff. If you're a fan of Godflesh, this is one of those albums that... I feel it doesn't really get mentioned as much as like Street Cleaner, the self-titled, Post Self, etc, etc. But yeah, Slave State, an amazing, amazing release by Godflesh. Fuck yeah. And as always, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You fucking rule. Alright, this is Sickening Deeds. Off the Grave Grooves 7-inch. Give you a little taste. 